If you're looking for an HDMI to SDI scaler that won't break the bank, then watch this video. In this video, I'll be reviewing the Multis Video Format to SDI Scaler Pro Scaler to SDI by GoFanko. The primary use case for this scaler will be with an ATEM Studio HD switcher. However, you can use this with any device that accepts SDI input. If you're not familiar with the ATEM Studio HD, it requires that all inputs have to have the same resolution and frame rate. This can be a challenge with a mix of cameras and video sources like computers. Most people would recommend the Decimator MDHX. I have two of these including a cross. In fact, this can output several test patterns like the Decimator cross, so I'll say this is more in line with that offering. Let's first talk about the specs of the GoFanko Pro Scaler 2 SDI. This provides a professional way to scale and convert multiple formats from HDMI, DisplayPort, VGA to 3G HD SD SDI format, which I'll shorten to SDI throughout this video. It supports video conversion and scaling from analog to digital to SDI. The conversion between HDMI DisplayPort and SDI is pure digital and guarantees no loss transformation for both audio and video. Besides, VGA devices such as PC with analog audio can readily connect your SDI input. The Pro Scaler to SDI provides low jitter SDI output. Now let's go over the unboxing. This is the box. It includes some software. I'm checking to see if there's also Mac software, but from what I've seen in the instruction manual, it's for PC only. There's the user guide. And then the actual device itself. You'll see that there is a dip switch here on the left. Then there's an SDI loop, SDI out, the infrared, the USB for service, the push buttons for the onboard menu system. If we switch this around, we have on the left here, we have the uh, display port in, HDMI in, VGA in, audio in, which coincides with the VGA, and then a screw in DC 12 volt. It includes a handy remote control, which the on-screen display will show up on the screen. It also includes a 12 volt, two amp power supply unit, and this screws right into the unit. It comes with two ear mounts along with the screws and then the corresponding IEC cable for the power adapter. Here are some sample use cases that best utilize the scaler. You can connect a PC via a display port, a Blu-ray player via the HDMI cable, a laptop via a VGA cable along with audio with a separate 3.5 millimeter audio jack, and those three inputs have limited cable lengths compared to SDI. That's where this converter shines. Just send the audio and video via SDI to your switcher. A bonus is that it includes a SDI loop out in case you want to attach a recorder to it to record the source video, just in case you need to edit the source video separately. There are several ways you can control this. The push button on the uh, scaler itself, infrared remote control, and the software control via the micro USB port. Now, let's do a few tests. All right, let's get this connected. I have 100 feet of SDI cable, and this will be a good test uh, for the signal power through this cable. Let's go ahead and get this plugged in. Do the SDI out. And let me check the front here. 
Okay, I'm not sure what the default resolution of this scaler is, so I'm gonna plug that into this Blackmagic Video Assist uh, to see what it is outputting. I'll put this, so I'm connecting the SDI loop out and putting that to the SDI in. Let's see if any signal comes through. You can see that the power is on. And let's go ahead and get a signal into this. So I have a little MacBook Air. So I've got a display port cable. And let's just go ahead and plug that in. into the scaler. Now I'll try my MacBook that has a USB-C to this dongle that has an HDMI out. Okay, so I have an HDMI cable out and let's plug that into the HDMI in. Oh, there we go. Looks like something's happening. input format HDCP content. Let me plug this into the switcher so you guys can see what's going on. All right, so now I'm just gonna route this out of the, out of the video assist. There we go. Let's do the output format and click enter. And the output format, let's do We want 1080p 30. There we go. Well, in this case, I'm using 20.9.97. And let's click on enter. Now it does say 1080p 29.97. So I should be able to plug this directly into an HDMI source here. All right, so I have this view hd splitter that i got on amazon i'll put it in the link let's try this out unfortunately i don't have a vga cable to test this out i'm sure that would be a good workaround that seems to be a legacy connection and i would say at least 90 percent of i would guess that 99 percent of users out there will be using hdmi Okay, so let's do this. Instead of the output coming from the Mac going directly into the, um, let me just remove this display port since it's not working. So instead of using the HDMI output from the Mac dongle going directly into the HDMI in, let's put that into the splitter. So let's put that into the input. And then the splitter has two outputs. We just need one. And we'll put that to the HDMI in. Now I need to get this thing some power. Okay. Got it working through the splitter. And let's actually just mirror my screen here. So I'll go to preferences, displays, arrangement, mirror displays. All right, so here is my screen on my Mac. You can see that I have the manual to this. In this example, we're doing the PC, but through HDMI. This should say DisplayPort. And then another option is using the VGA cable with the audio cable, and that's the only way you can get the audio. And you see that in my case, I have a monitor and also one going to the switcher. So if we look at the setup here, take a look at this on the SDI loop that's going into the video assist and the SDI out is going into the ATEM switcher. Let's actually try out the push buttons here. On section one, we've got the push buttons. If we click on this, that invokes the menu. 
So let's just take a look at what that looks like here. So the button is here. And then we have up and down. The menu and we go down and we click on the menu again, it'll exit. This is the GoFanco Pro Scaler 2 SDI versus the Decimator MD Cross version 2. Starting with the top, you can see the price is $199.95, basically $200 for the GoFanco, and then basically four, twice the price for the MD Cross version 2. On the inputs, you have an HDMI, mini display port, VGA with stereo audio, and then on the decimator, you have HDMI and SDI. Outputs, you have SDI, SDI loop out. And on the decimator, you have four SDI. You can see the output resolutions. You might want to pause here to review them. And also, even though you can see that it's missing the decimal points, just keep in mind that's just for spacing reasons. So you know that for 29, that equals 29.97. On the remote, uh, the GoFanco has a remote and the Decimator doesn't. Uh, the Decimator does, has an LCD, but the GoFanco doesn't. However, you can manage the menus on screen. And on the test patterns, there are test patterns on the GoFanco. And then on the Decimator, there's 54 of them, including Luma and chromosome plates. All right, comparing the GoFanco to the Decimator MD Cross V2, this one is $199.95. This is $395. For the inputs, we covered that already with the uh, display port, HDMI, VGA, along with the audio in that coincides with the VGA from the PC. And then with the decimator, we've got an HDMI input and also an SDI input as well. The outputs on the GoFanco, there is an SDI and the SDI loop. And then with the MD Cross, there are four of them and they're paired. So you have SDI output one with a pair and SDI output two with a pair and you can route those accordingly. With the remote, the GoFanco includes this handy remote. You can also switch the aspect ratio on here. Uh, blank out the screen. So let's try that out real quick. There we go. Blanking out the screen and then turning it back on. And we can also freeze the screen. I guess if there's an animation going on, we can freeze that. Let's actually try that out. Let's freeze the screen. Okay, the screen's frozen, but it's still playing on my Mac. And then unfreeze it. Pretty cool. Let's see what happens if we switch to aspect ratio. Okay, so you can switch to aspect ratio from four to three to 16 by nine. So here's what it looks like if I switch to aspect ratio. It squeezes the screen accordingly. And then if I switch it back, it looks correct. Let's actually try a latency test. Okay, the source is the laptop, and this is the SDI out going directly into the video assist. So it looks like there is a little bit of a delay from the prophecy, but let's see what it looks like when with we try the decimator hmm. okay doesn't seem to want to use the same plug in the md cross okay so this is now a test of the mac going into the splitter hdmi splitter and into the MD cross, and then into the video assist. It doesn't look like there is a delay. 
However, let's try the scaler because I think this is just direct from the HDMI. All right, now we have the scaler turned on on the MD cross. Let's see if there's any latency. And there is, interesting. It looks like it's the same amount of latency with the Gofenco. So right now, this is the MD cross. The HDMI input is coming in, being scaled and sent out via SDI. Okay, that concludes the test and comparison between the Decimator MD cross with scaling and the Prophecy even with scaling. Although I compared this to a more expensive Decimator MD cross because it also includes some test patterns, it doesn't have any audio overlays to check if audio is going through. But since the ATM includes them, that really isn't an issue for me. There's a cheaper Decimator MDHX, but it's still $95 more than this GoFanco. Although this may be made in Taiwan, their support is in my neck of the woods of Silicon Valley, and they've been really great. If you're looking for a relatively inexpensive HDMI DisplayPort VGA to SDI converter, this is the way to go. Please check out the links in the description. They have a 30-day return policy and a lifetime technical support. I highly recommend this as a great alternative to the Decimator. Thanks for watching. In fact, this can output several test patterns like the Decimator Cross, so I'll say this is more in line with that offering. Let's first talk about the specs of the GoFango Pro Scaler 2 SDI. This provides a professional way to scale and convert multiple formats from HDMI, DisplayPort, VGA to VGA, HD, SDI, SMO, which I'll shorten to SDI if you're at this video. It's a port. The end. <laughs> See, I'm good.